building some split rail, cedar split rail fence for some good friends of ours. Um, and I'm doing it, I guess you'd say the, t the traditional, traditional way. Um, it's quite a bit of work, but uh, I kind of enjoy doing this type of stuff. But um, what we got is a cedar log. It's um, uh, western white cedar. This isn't the cedar that's got the real good smell, like you'd have a cedar closet or something like that. Um, but it uh, makes good fences and stuff um, so what I'm doing I I'm finding that well I'll, exp I'll go from the beginning what I do is I take one of these metal wedges and I get it in here and I hammer and uh, winds picking up um, hammer and then that just splits it down and I just keep putting um, as it splits I just keep going down through um, putting more wedges in until it splits splits out completely I'll split one quick and uh, show you this part Um, gotta kind of look at it and see if there's any splits and because it'll split it'll go down through and then it'll kind of split off and then a bigger crack will start down through another way and that so you got to kind of watch that but take and put this one in about there because it's about the thickness of the rail that I want see it splitting the centers of these trees are almost always not always but most of the time 9.9% .9 of the time 99.9% .9 of the time they will be rotten in the middle but the outside layer is the part that we want See why we don't need a gym. Here's a good example of what I was talking about. Our split, I think, well, maybe it's not. It almost looks like <clears> the <throat> split is coming down and we're wanting to go down through here. Um, but it's, it's, this is offset, I think. Uh, it might not be. Uh, maybe not. Here, there you can see it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can see how it split off there and split here. We're in, we're in this one right here, but it's splitting off there. It, it happens. You just don't want that to happen too, too much, or too big of a gap. Now, what I'll do is come over here. What I would, what I did for the other sections that I made, um, I just used my uh, this little axe. This thing, uh, 
it's an awesome little axe. It, it was my father's. Um, it was a kind of a cheaper axe, but it's been around. It cuts good. But what I was doing, um, let's see here. There's one that I had here. It was this would be a, a good a good one to make a rail out of. But if you look here. I did that that might not be a bad, too bad of a rail. I thought it was going to keep on. It's a little thin though. It's thinner than what I really wanted. But, um, but what I was doing is coming in, starting at my end. And working it down the whole the whole way now I have uh, my um, I have my broad axe and I would like to really use that um, but I gotta wait until I'm up further um, to get into that I didn't try my ads yet um, but I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to try it and just see how it goes. Um, maybe it'll go all right for me. Um, try it and see what happens. Um, just cedar. Cedar is a little bit different than other wood. Um, as you can see, you know, it splits. That's why you make cedar shingles out of it. Shakes. Um, but it can be a little different when you're, like, compared to like a piece of oak or something like that you do use a or pine whatever um, an adds on but I'm gonna I'm gonna try it and see how it goes hopefully it it worked for me um, so I don't know Let's try this out here quick Normally you'd stand up, you know, on either side. I should have like these two logs on either side, and these. Let's see. Austin, can you hold this end of it? Now I should have log dogs, but now it needs to be down. Just, just, it just hold it so it doesn't move. Um, should have log dogs. bounces around so much and I was going to make a couple um, log dogs to uh, to put in but I'm concerned about what I'm concerned about is that the way the cedar splits so easily if I go and take and flip it up and put a log dog in there enough to hold it good I'm afraid it's going to want to start splitting, splitting my it. piece. Mm -hmm. So, I'm finding that pretty much the easiest way is with this little little axe and just, you know. Like that. It's kind of what I'm finding but have more control of the log and more control of what you're working on yeah. that way um, the post how I made the post is uh, like this was an extra one and you can see I could use my sawmill but it because of it being rotten in the middle 
I can't take and cut it square and then cut my square chunks out or it ends up I don't have enough for the rail so it's kind of hard to to do in a mill I tried it I tried it on a couple of them and it just there's just not enough there but anyways this was one of the rail uh, the post um, what I did was um, I took and I have a auger bit it's about uh, I think it's two and like a quarter something like that round and I drilled through side by side holes and then cut with the my saws off and cut the um, piece out I cut it the little loop where this where the I drilled through I cut that out with the saws off um, I could have you know if I was gonna do it all traditional I could have you know hand augered it and all that but and chiseled that center out and that but I got I gotta get this done but uh, so that's how I did the post Alright, so these are the, the posts that I was telling you about. You can see I augered a hole in here and then here. And uh, then there was a, because the round coming in, it um, had left a point. So I cut that out with the soles off. Um, and that's how that goes. And then I, I just take and, took and uh, uh, dug holes. And then took and uh, put them in there, got them straight, <laughs> and uh, then tamped them, got them. Um, when you're doing this, you want to leave for sure. Make sure your holes are big enough, and then leave at least one side um, loose, so you can get your rails in. Otherwise, you're not getting your rails in, as you can see kind of obvious um, but then you just get them together get them to where they need taper them down I just use the axe again taper them down and then uh, put uh, put them in there <laughs> Goofy cat. Um, and then they fit together like wedge style in here and then uh, down here they just go in again into the end um, and just get them where it level. Uh, because this is kind of a downward hill and it kind of slopes up a little bit there, what I did was I got that end where it needed to go, got that end where it needed to go, and then I ran a string from that side, the top of my hole on that one, down to the top of the hole on this one, and um, got my straight line and then I could see where the top hole on this one needed to be and how much I had to cut off the bottom of my post. I left my post longer that way I could cut them down um, as I needed it but I mean this is solid so that'll last who knows how long a long 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 time so that's how it looks when it's awesome. done. So, take care, guys, and God bless.